Iowa School District just passed a policy allowing students to use whichever bathroom they identify with in room with the gender they feel on school trips. Parental knowledge is not required. Bruh. What? Bro, I'm out, man. This is going to cause a lot of problems. This is going to cause a lot of problems in the future. You see, there's already a problem with girls getting harassed in high school and elementary school by boys. But let the weird kid in the class that no girl likes now decides that he wants to identify as a girl. You don't think that's going to cause problems? Hmm. Okay. Is reviewing a second reading of a policy at Linmar which allows students to use a bathroom which does not match the gender assigned to them at birth and also choose who they can room with on school trips without the parents knowing. Now, reporter Travis. No, that's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Hold on. Let me zoom in real quick for y'all. That is sick. So now you're going to have boys using the girls' restroom, right? Those little girls are going to be confused. And say if those one of those boys, you know, comes on to that girl, right? And they have intercourse, which they shouldn't be doing, which is inappropriate. But let's just say that happens, all right? And then that boy gets that girl pregnant. So now you're going to have 14 year olds getting pregnant. So preteen moms. This is going to be a new epidemic. So now you're going to have little girls getting pregnant by these so-called trans or identify as a woman. But I was born a boy, a man. This is going to be a big problem, bro. And they don't even have to get permission from the parents to do this. So now you're going to send your kid off to school with a boy using the girl's restroom. So now you're going to send your daughter or son and now they're getting brainwashed. Now they're getting, they're putting themselves in danger because they don't know no better. They're just little kids. They're, they're preteens. Like, this is bad, man. This is, oh my God, this is bad. Continuing. This breeze is at that meeting right now. Travis, tell us the very latest. I understand they were going to take a vote, but that has not yet happened. What's going on? So, Ron, just a few things here. This is a policy that was in place, but the district says it wasn't codified. So they are taking this series of votes to make it a formal vote. And this is only the second vote of three. But people just moments ago are walking out of this meeting and saying that uh, they did pass the second consideration oh of this God. vote. Uh, there's some mixed reaction from people on both sides of this. Um, and prior to this, there was a more than three hour public comment period, which we're going to show you the highlights of right now. The board is reviewing. I wish I could have seen the highlights, but let's read some of these uh, comments here. I'm a high school student and this terrifies me. Luckily, I live in Florida, but I pray for other girls and boys in my age that, that are in states like Iowa who can't even feel safe in bathrooms anymore. Exactly. Exactly. This is my exact point, bro. It's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad, bro. University of New Hampshire professor says it's ineffective to assume a sexual relationship between young people and adults is predatory and criminal. Hmm. Um, also, if young people are initiating sexual activities with adults or enthusiastically involved, we can't be effective in working with them if we assume that all such relationships start with a predatory or criminally inclined, inclined adult. Are you serious? Is this man condoning pedophilia? He just said you you can't assume that it starts off sexually. Bro, it's a grown ass man or woman talking to a 15 year old, 12 year old, 6 year old. That is predatory. That That's what you like to call a pedophile, a predator. See, 
these is the perverts that I'm talking about. And there's a lot of old perverts. And I guarantee you, he supports the LGB plus community. These are the groomers. These are the people that need to get canceled. The, as we we're seeing in the discussion, young people bridle at being forced into this uh, box of being seen as being the victim of a predator. And that's because they are the victim of a. This is sick. You're sick. You're sick in the head. That's because they are victims. Kids that are taken advantage of by an adult that they look up to as a leader that takes advantage of them physically, mentally, those are victims. The fact that you're trying to say that there aren't makes me think that you are a predator, pedophile yourself. And so there are reasons for learning about what the dynamics are and, and how to talk about them. There's no dynamics. There's no relationship. There's no such thing as a relationship between a grown ass man and a grown and a little child. There's no such, there's no dynamic. There's nothing to talk about. It's wrong. It's, it's perverted. It's evil. It's satanic. Them so that we can um, better help the young people who are in these situations. No, you're not trying to help the young people. If you try to, if you wanted to help the young people, the victims, you would have those people locked up. They wouldn't be able to go get out of jail. You know, women that sleep with 15 year old boys, grown ass women that are in their 30s or 40s, 50s, sleeping with a 15 year old student wouldn't get a slap on the wrist. They wouldn't get house arrest. They wouldn't get two years in prison. They wouldn't just lose their job. They will be facing 20 to 30 to 40 years or maybe life in prison for sleeping with a 15 year old. But when a woman does it, when a woman sleeps with a 15 year old boy, it's okay. But when a man does it, and I'm not saying that either or is good. Both of them are bad. But when a man does it, guess what the man gets? 30, 40 years. The woman does it. Oh, she didn't know what she was doing. You got the you got her lawyer in the court talking about, oh, the 15-year-old boy took advantage of her. How can a 15-year-old boy? And I want y'all to answer this in the chat. How can a 15-year-old boy take advantage of a grown woman? How? How? You're so strong and independent. You couldn't say no to a 15-year-old? You couldn't resist a 15-year-old boy? That's what you're trying to tell me? These so-called strong and independent women that don't need men couldn't resist a 15-year-old boy? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Yeah, this guy does need to be investigated. Check all boxers for groomers. Check all boxers for a pedophile. Straight to jail? He should be, but he's not. These are people, he works in the education system. So I'm telling you, man, the education, the education system is doomed. I graduated high school in 2018. I'm glad I got out of 2018 because look, look, look what is happening in 2022. Look, you got groomers, you got pedophiles, you got perverts. They're all teachers now. I don't know how pedophile perverts become teachers. I, I don't understand it.